we are going to discuss a very very important topic which will help you to solve most of the numerical based problems in less time and less place the name of the topic is speed mathematics in this class in this speed max class we are going to discuss three modules first module is squares we will discuss all the problems related to how to find the square of a number then we will discuss all the problems related to how to find the cube of a number then we will discuss all the problems related to how to multiply how to multiply any two numbers which are close to each other not close to each other and the last but not least we will also discuss how to cross check whether our answer is right or wrong by using the most powerful concept in mathematics that is digital sum so these are the four topics which we will discuss let us straight away start with topic number 1 type 1 how to find the square of a number how to find the square of a number for every concept i will discuss minimum two problems so that you will not face any problem in understanding the concept how to find the square of any number to find the square of any number there are so many logics one of the primitive logics to find the square of a number is a plus b whole square a plus b whole square as we know it stands for a square plus 2ab plus b square kindly do not change the order of a plus b whole square first example suppose i need to find the square of 77 77 whole square divide into two parts a is 7 b is 7 wherever a is there substitute 7 wherever b is there in this case also it is 7 2ab and next is b square 7 square is 49 49 twos are 98 7 square is 49 i hope the first step is clear in the second step always write down the unit digit 49 what is the unit digit 9 4 carry 98 plus 4 what is 98 plus 4 102 what is the unit digit in 102 2 10 carry what is 49 plus 10 59 again i am repeating the logic after getting the answers after substituting the corresponding values of a and b other than the leftmost place every place take only the unit digit 49 what is the unit digit 9 4 carry 98 plus 4 102 what is the unit digit in 102 2 10 carry what is 49 plus 10 59 Answer for 77 whole square is 5929. Let me take another example to make this concept very clear to everyone. Suppose let us take 94 whole square. 94 whole square. First step: divide this 94 into two variables where a is 9, b is 4. A square. Next is 2ab. Next is b square. Nine square is eighty one. Two nines are eighteen. Eighteen fours are seventy two. Four square is sixteen. Sixteen. What is the unit digit? Six. One carry. What is seventy two plus one? Seventy three. What is the unit digit in seventy three? Three. Seven carry. What is eighty one plus seven? Eighty eight. Eight eight three six. again i am repeating an important key point in this concept after getting the first step in every place take the leftmost place only in the leftmost place write down the entire number only in the leftmost place you will write the entire number right having understood this concept students please practice this problem suppose if you do 56 whole square by using the above logic you will get the answer 3136 3136 similarly if i do 42 whole square you will get the answer 1764 1764 i hope 
everyone got this answer. I hope the first logic of how to find the square of a number is very clear to you. Now, in this concept, there is a very, very important observation. Let us look at that observation. A plus B whole square, it stands for A square plus 2AB plus B square. Please observe carefully, the tenth place in this context is multiplied by 2. If you multiply any number by 2, then that number becomes an even number. So, this is the first observation. In this case, tenth place is an even number. Suppose there is a question. Is 95020 a perfect square? We need to check whether this number is a perfect square or not. Generally in textbooks, there is a method which will state that start from rightmost keep a slash after two digits. Let us not use that method. Let us understand from this problem. Now, if you observe carefully, in this question, the unit digit is 9. Now, which natural number on square, I will get 9. There are so many natural numbers. 13 square is 9, 17 square is 289. 27 square is 729. Let us take the single singular digit. 3 square is 0, 9. 7 square is 49. 13 square is 169. 17 square is 289. Similarly, you can write as many examples as possible. If you observe, this is the method one to solve. If you observe, all these numbers are ending with 9. Tenth digit is always an even number. Tense digit is always an even number. So in this question, if the unit digit is 9, but the tense digit is 1, 1 is an odd number, therefore the answer is no. Therefore the answer is no. Suppose, let me prove it by using this concept. Method 2. To find the square of a number, just now we discussed a plus b whole square is a square plus 2ab plus b square. To get 9, b square should give me 9. B square to give 9. What should be the value of B? Either 3 or 7. So this will be A with 3 whole square. This will be A square. Next is 2AB. Next is B square. Next will be A with 7 whole square. This will be A square, 2AB and next is B square. Please observe. This number is multiplied by 2. It is an even number. This number is multiplied by 2. It's an even number. 7 square is 49. 9. 4 is carry forwarded. 4 is even. This is even. What is even plus even? Again, it is an even number. I hope the concept is very clear. Any perfect square ending with 9, tenth digit should always be even number. This is the proof by using this concept. This is the proof by example. I hope the concept is clear. Now, let us take one more example. For every concept, we will do minimum two problems so that you will not face any problem while understanding the concept. Is 345734 a perfect square? 345734 a perfect square. Again, this number is ending with 4. For b square to end with 4, what should be the value of b? Either 2 or 8. Because 2 square is 4, 8 square is 64. So this will become a with b whole square. a square, next is 2ab, next is b square. b square to end with 4, b value will be either 2 or 8. a square, 2 into a into 2 and 2 square. a with 8 whole square. So this will be a square, next is 2ab and next is b square. Now again observe, this number is multiplied by 2, even number. This number is multiplied by 2, even number. 8 square is 64, 4, 6 is even. Even plus even, again even. What is the tense digit here? Odd. Therefore, again the answer will be no. Let us discuss an another problem. How to find the square, how to find whether a number is a perfect square or not by using the above logic. Is 345734 a perfect square? Again, method 1, 
proof by example this number is ending with 4 this number is ending with 4 let us take few examples which number sum square ended with 4 8 square is 64 12 square is 144 18 square is 324 so all these examples if any perfect square is ending with 4 tensor digit is always an even number in this question what is the tensor digit 3 3 is an odd number 3 is an odd number so therefore the answer is no this is proof by example now let us see proof by concept method 2 a plus b whole square it stands for a square plus 2ab plus b square first observe what is the unit digit present in the question unit digit present in the question is 4 for a unit digit to have you for a unit digit to be 4 in a perfect square b should be either 2 or 8 a with 2 whole square a square next is 2ab next is b square next will be a with 8 whole square so this will be a square next is 2ab and the next is b square again observe carefully tenth place is multiplied by 2 if it is multiplied by 2 it is an even number again tenth place is multiplied by 2 it is an even number 8 square is 64 write down the unit digit 4 6 carried 6 is an even number this is also an even number what is even plus even again an even number i hope you have understood how to check whether a number is a perfect square or not by using the logic a plus b whole square now a student while watching this video might get a doubt and you sir what if the tenth digit is an even number how to check whether a number is a perfect square or not that also we will discuss when we are discussing a concept by name digital sum please underline this point any perfect square ending with 4 if the tenth digit is odd then it is not a perfect square any perfect square ending with 4 if the tenth digit is even it may or may not be a perfect square we are discussing the converse of the concept depending upon the unit digit tenth digit nature will be there i hope it is clear now let us solve one competitive examination question based upon these two examples question how many elements in the set 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 1 triple 1 double 1 four ones five ones six ones are perfect squares are perfect squares this is the question if you understand the question this question can be solved in very few seconds before solving, please look at all the elements present in the set. They are ending with which number? 1. What is the nature of a perfect square ending with 1? 9 square, 81. 11 square, 121. 19 square, 361. Any perfect square ending with 1, tenth digit always it should be an even number. What is the tenth digit? Odd number. This cannot be a perfect square. What is the tenth digit? 1. Not possible not possible not possible not possible so there is only one element in the set which is a perfect square and the answer is one i hope you understood the concept try to answer the second question similarly second question 9 99 triple 9 four nines five nines how many elements in the set are perfect squares same approach all the numbers are ending with which number 9 what is the nature of a perfect square ending with 9 tenth digit should be an even number so therefore this is not possible this is not possible this is not possible this is not possible what will be the answer again there is only one number that is 9 this is an extension of our logic how to find the square of a number right now let us increase the level of difficulty from this concept i hope you are all with me in this concept now let us discuss another concept question what are the what are the last two digits what are the last two digits 
what are the last two digits for 11 power 48 11 power 48 this question is given to you we need to find out the last two digits when i say last two digits we are interested in finding the unit digit and the tens digit of a number options suppose if the options are like this 71 81 31 and 51 71 81 31 51 there is a method to find out the last two digits of a number which we will discuss in detail in the forthcoming classes but in this case let us solve it by using the concept just we discussed right now first thing before solving the problem please observe the question 11 power 48 first observation 48 is an even number 48 is an even number if the power is an even number then the number is a perfect square are you all with me suppose if i take 2 power 4 16 4 is an even number 16 is a perfect square what do you mean by a perfect square a perfect square should be of the form a power 2k where 2k a could be a single prime number or com composite number or anything so if the power is a multiple of 2 including 0 then it is a perfect square first observation 48 48 is an even number then it is a perfect square so by looking at the question we have concluded that this is a perfect square now observe all the options are ending with which number 1 what is the nature of a perfect square ending with 1 9 square 81 11 square 121 19 square 361 any perfect square ending with 1 what is the tensor digit nature it's an even number let us write few examples 9 square 81 19 square 361 21 square 441 any perfect square ending with 1 tensor digit is an even number what is the tensor digit odd tensor digit odd tensor digit odd that means by knowing the previous concept you can eliminate some incorrect answer options please remember the method which i used right now is just nothing but an eliminating answer options eliminating answer options anyway we will discuss the various method how to solve the last two digits that means by knowing a fundamental you can eliminate few answer options and you can get an right answer option by using this method you can tell what all the answers are incorrect it will never tell which all answers are right let us understand one more example to make this concept very clear suppose one more example what i do is what are the last instead of last two digits i will call this number as last three digits for 57 power 802 57 power 802 options 219 239 249 259 i am sure some of the students have already solved this question before i completed the fourth option first thing last three digit means we are interested in unit digit tens digit and hundreds digit 57 power 802 step number two 802 is an even number so therefore it is a perfect square therefore it is a perfect square all these numbers are ending with which number 9 what is the nature of a perfect square ending with 9 tens digit should be an even number or odd number tens digit should be an even number take few examples in case if you got a doubt 7 square 49 13 square 169 17 square 289 any perfect square ending with 9 tens digit should be an even number these are the this is odd. This is odd. Therefore, the answer is 249. I hope the simplest observation of 2AB as the second term in A plus B whole square can help us solve some of the toughest problems just by understanding fundamentals. Now, let us get into the next concept. Now, while solving A plus B whole square, we just discussed the square of a two digit number what if if it is a square of a three digit number four digit number five digit number that we will discuss now before discussing that concept let me discuss an another important key point another important key point now if you observe carefully 
the unit digit of any number the unit digit of any number will range from 0 to 9 the unit digit of any number will range from 0 to 9 if i do the square of these unit digits 0 square 0 1 square 1 2 square 4 3 square 9 4 square 16 i am writing the unit digit after squaring in the answer 5 square 25 5 6 square 36 6 7 square 49 9 8 square 64 4 9 square 81 1 you take any natural number any natural number will end with the unit digits from 0 to 9 observe carefully after squaring the unit digit of the resultant does it have 2 at the end 3 at the end 7 at the end 8 at the end no, that means a perfect square, very important learning, a perfect square, a perfect square never ends with, a perfect square never ends with 2, 3, 7 or 8, a perfect square never ends with 2, 3, 7 or 8, if a number is a perfect square, it will never end with 2, 3, 7 or 8. Now, let us discuss few problems based upon this concept. Just now we discussed a concept that is a perfect square never ends with 2, 3, 7 or 8. Please underline this. Any natural number ending with 2, 3, 7 or 8 can never be a perfect square and if the number is a perfect square, it will never end with 2, 3, 7 or 8. Let us take some examples to understand this concept. One simple example, first question is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 a perfect square? Is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 a perfect square? This number is ending with which number? 8. If the natural number is ending with 8, can it be a perfect square? No. So therefore, the answer is no. Let us take another problem. How many? Same like the previous problem which we discussed, how many elements in the set? How many elements in the set? 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 are perfect squares. Are perfect squares. If you know the definition of a perfect square and all the concepts related to perfect square, then this question will not intimidate you. This first observe the unit digits, it is ending with 2, it is ending with 3, it is ending with 4, it is ending with 5. In the previous concept we discussed, if any perfect square is ending with 4, tens digit is always an even number. Therefore, it is not a perfect square. Any natural number ending with 5, for it to be a perfect square, tens digit should be 2. So it cannot be a perfect square. A perfect square will not end with 3. A perfect square will not end with 2. So what will be the answer? 1. I hope this concept is clear to you. Let us discuss another level 3 question. In our class, after discussing a concept, we will discuss level 1. Then we will discuss level 2, then we will discuss level 3. So that gradually you will understand the, the, the way in which the questions can be framed using the simplest of the logics. Third question. Let us discuss another question. Now, this is one of the toughest questions in asked in competitive examinations. We will try to make it as easy as possible. Question. X square minus x square minus 5y square equal to 1, 2, 3, 2. x, y are natural numbers less than 250. How many values x, y can take? How many values x, y can take? This is the question. Just by looking at the question, most of the students will have a fear of solving this question because it is an algebra question. Now, see Anilayar's way of solving x square minus 5y square equal to 1, 2, 3, 2. Observe carefully. What is the unit digit in right hand side? 2. Unit digit in the right hand side is 2. How we got 2? It is nothing but subtracting the unit digit of 
5y square from unit digit of x square. Am I right? Yes. Now, the second important observation, this number is multiplied by 5. If you multiply any number by 5, what will be the unit digit of a number? That will be 0 or 5. You multiply any number, 5 5s are 25, 5 7s are 35, 5 8s are 40. So, 5 y square unit digit will be either 0 or 5. x square unit digit we don't know. So, something minus 0 is giving me 2. Only the reference point is unit digit here. So, something minus 0 is 2. That x square unit digit should be how much? 2. Because 2 minus 0 only it gives you 2. Something minus 5 is 2. What should be x square unit digit? 7. But we already discussed if the power is an even number, then the number is a perfect square. Can a perfect square end with 2? Can a perfect square end with 7? We already discussed it right now. A perfect square never ends with 2, 3, 7 or 8. So this case is not possible. This case is not possible. Only two cases are there. The two cases are not possible. Therefore, what will be the answer? 0. Therefore, what will be the answer? 0. By knowing that a perfect square never ends with 2, 3, 7 or 8, you can solve an algebraic question in the most easiest way. Next, let us discuss one more question. x square x square plus y square equivalent to x square plus y square equivalent to 1, 2, 3, 7, 9 1, 2, 3, 7, 9 x, y are natural numbers less than some 500 how many values x, y can take how many values x, y can take Use the same approach that we discussed in the last problem. This number is ending with which number? 9. So, unit digit in the right hand side is 9. Unit digit in the right hand side is 9. How did we get this 9? It is nothing but addition of unit digit of y square and unit digit of x square. Tell me the possibilities. x square unit digit can be 0. y square unit digit can be 9. We are only looking at the reference point as unit digit. 0 plus 9 is 9. What is the next case? 1 plus 8 is 9. What is the next case? 2 plus 7 is 9. What is the next case? 3 plus 6 is 9. What is the next case? 4 plus 5 is 9. Remaining all the cases are nothing but from bottom to top. 5 plus 4, 6 plus 3, 7 plus 2, 8 plus 1. Now observe carefully. x square, it is a perfect square. Does a perfect square end with 2 or 3? No. These cases are eliminated. Y square is also a perfect square. Does a perfect square end with 7 or 8? No. That means we have cancelled this case, this case and this case because of the logic. A perfect square never ends with 2, 3, 7 or 8. Now, x square is ending with 0. Any perfect square ending with 0, it always ends with even number of zeros. 10 square 100, 100 square 1 followed by 4 zeros. Any perfect square ending with 9, 10 digit is an even number. Just now we discussed. 7 square 49, 13 square 169, 17 square 289. What is 0 plus even? Even. That means right hand side, 10 digit should be an even number. Next, any perfect square ending with 4, what is the 10 digit? Even number y square is ending with 5. What is the tenth digit? It should always be 2. 5 square 25. 25 square 625. 15 square 225. Any perfect square ending with 5, tenth digit is always 2. What is even plus even? Again an even number. That means by using this logic, right hand side should end with 9 and what should be the tenth digit nature? What should be the tenth digit nature? Even number. According to the question, what should be the, what is the tenth digit nature? 7. So therefore, what will be the answer? 0. I hope the logic is clear to you. Just by playing with the unit digit of a number, I sincerely suggest all the students not to miss out any single example when I am discussing the class, right? Because every example I am going to connect it somewhere. I want to use the simplest of the concepts which I discussed at the beginning, maybe at the end of the class. So pay your utmost attention. 
D is zero. D is the traditional method. I hope this method is clear to you. So through this question, I want to explain few important key points. Whenever you find the power to be an even number, one thing that should strike you is can I use perfect square logics? That is the first thing. And method two, don't try to solve this question by using algebraic methods. Try to think differently. Try to think without ink. Method two. Method two. Now, let us solve this problem using method two. Now, why am I discussing this method two? Some students may get a doubt. Anil sir, why did you mention x, y are natural numbers? Is there any significance with related to the domain of the natural numbers here? Yes, there is a significance. Let us discuss that significance. Method 2. Now, it is given in the question that x and y are natural numbers. If x and y are natural numbers, these are the four cases that will come. x is an even number, y is an even number. First case, x is an even number, y is an odd number. Second case, third case, x is an odd number, y is an even number, third case, fourth case, both x and y can be odd numbers. Because if I take any natural number, natural can be either even number or an even number. I am sure most of you know that the nature of an even number is nothing but of the form 2k. The nature of odd number is of the form 2k plus 1 or 2k minus 1 depending upon which value of k you are starting with. Now, if I take x even, y even, even number is 2k1 whole square plus 2k2 whole square. First case, x and y even. 2k1 whole square, that will become 4k1 square. 4k1 square means divisible by 4. 2k2 whole square, 4k2 square, it is also divisible by 4. If I add two numbers which are divisible by 4, answer will always be divisible by 4. So, answer is divisible by 4. So, it will be 4p. Next case, this case is over. Next case, if x is even, y is odd, even number, 2k1 whole square, odd number, 2k2 plus 1 whole square. So, this will become 4k1 square plus 4k2 square plus 4k2 plus 1. First three terms, all are divisible by 4. It gives a reminder how much? 1. So, second nature is, it is of the form 4p plus 1. First case, gave me the answer, right hand side should be divisible by 4. Second case, it gave me an answer, it gives a reminder 1, we are divided by 4. Third case, second and third case both are similar, where 1 is even, another is odd. So, we got 4p and 4p plus 1. What is the last case? x is odd, y is odd. If x is an odd number, 2k plus 1 whole square plus 2k2 plus 1 whole square. So, this will give you the answer. 4k1 square plus 4k1 plus 1 plus 4k2 square plus 4k2 plus 1. Observe carefully. This is a divisible by 4, divisible by 4, divisible by 4, divisible by 4. Here 1, here 1. What should be the reminder? All are divisible by 4 with 2 ones. That means 4p plus 2. That means by using the nature of x and y, what are the logics that I got? Right hand side should be divisible by 4, right hand side should give a reminder 1, or right hand side should give a reminder 2. I hope you are all with me. What is the divisibility rule of 4? Last two digits should be divisible by 4. What are the last two digits here? 79. When you divide 79 by 4, what is the reminder? Four nineteens are 76. What is the reminder? 3. That means in this question, what is the form on the right hand side? 4p plus 3. Does 4p plus 3 form k? No. Therefore, answer is 0. That means by using the number 3 also, you can solve this question. By using the perfect square also, you can solve this question. I hope you have understood how to solve this question using multiple methods. I strongly feel that you should know, every student should know more than one way to solve questions because what is the best method according to me may not be the best method for a student. Well, it all depends upon how you practice it. You practice 
of two methods what you think is easy and best for you you pick it out that method right now let us discuss one more question based on this so that this concept will be very clear to you last question the important learning from the question if there is any equation of the form x square plus y square equal to k right hand side will if it is of the form 4p 4p plus 1 4p plus 2 there may may not be integral solutions if the right hand side is of the form 4p plus 3 definitely it will not have any integral solutions <music>